who welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Green Impact Partners channel, strategically positioned to lead the transition to a green and sustainable economy, and of course, a future. Joining us, Chief Executive Officer, as always, Jesse Douglas. Welcome back. Uh, great to be here again, Kyle. Thank you. And always a pleasure to have you. So today, uh, we've talked about a lot recently, but I really want to focus in on the RNG side of your business, the renewable natural gas, which I'm sure most people have a hard time wrapping their head around RNG itself. So first and foremost, do you want to explain what renewable natural gas is? Absolutely, I do. Yeah, and it's something that when I'm when I'm talking to people as we travel and and you're you're in new new areas or restaurants, it is something that certainly people have a lot of questions about. And uh, by the end of the conversation, I think most are amazed at the impact we can make with it. So uh, ultimately, anything that decomposes the bugs that are decomposing it to break it down create methane. That gas seeps into the environment, and it is effectively the same as natural gas that we can we, we can pull out of the ground <laughs> via drilling rig and conventional oil studies. So. What we're doing is we're taking that uh, methane, and we're actually managing those bugs, we're putting it in a controlled environment, we're taking the things that decompose, and we're then capturing all of that gas. And the importance of capturing that gas is so that methane is somewhere between 120 and 20 times worse uh, between year one and year 100 for the environment than carbon. Uh, and that methane can actually be burned as energy. So why let it go into the atmosphere and create, create something that's 120 times worse for the environment than, than the carbon dioxide coming out of the tailpipe of your car when it actually is an energy source? And, and so we have to aggregate those waste sources. Uh, we build tanks as large as 2 million gallons to, to store mass amounts of waste. Uh, we, we then manage the bugs through it. We clean it up and we can put it directly into the natural gas pipeline system or where you're using natural gas fueling for, for low carbon vehicles. We can put it there. It can be burned in your stove as clean as, uh, well, as the same as the natural gas that's there, but with a with a cleanliness that's somewhere between five and a hundred times cleaner. Yeah, that's absolutely astounding. I don't even think people are aware that there is uh, possibilities to pull methane, natural gas out of these kind of resources. It's kind of like this hidden part of the uh, the natural uh, um, gas commodity uh, itself. It's just a hidden little part of the market. Do you mind talking a little bit more briefly about your thoughts on the commodity price itself? I know a lot of countries are heavily leaning into natural gas right now because it is so much more carbon efficient over coal and a lot of the things people are currently using. Do you want to talk about that commodity price and where you see the future of this kind of going? Sure. Uh, I mean, ultimately, you kind of end up with bad, good, better, best when you're talking about energy sources, right? And and I think there's still some argument as to what <laughs> good, better, best is right now. And, and science is going to evolve and technology is going to evolve and get us there. And, and I do think that the, my, my view is that the price of, of conventional natural gas will go up because we do need more of it. We've got nearly a billion people without access to water and, and power in their homes today in the world, and they eventually will have it, I hope, sooner than later. Uh, which means more energy that we're going to be using. Um, and, and hopefully we won't be moving to to dirtier, cheaper sources like coal. So where we play in is that that we certainly are going to provide developed economies to start with that can afford to pay a premium for renewable and, and carbon negative gas, uh, that gas. And, and we see then the demand for that. We've seen utilities throughout North America, uh, provinces and states and, and even the countries coming to a point where they're saying, we need you to be burning somewhere between five and 20% renewable natural gas, which means that right now that, that would, it would have to, production has to increase by a thousand times what's there today to get us to 5%. So uh, if, if everybody's yeah. using it. And so I think when you have a product that's typically in, in much higher demand than it is in supply, simple economics tells us the price is going up. Yeah. Which, yeah, that's uh that's awesome. I really appreciate these insights. I mean, this has been pretty incredible, and I hope it offers some clarity on the RNG side of your business. Thanks so much, Jesse. Thank you. Have a good day. You too, sir. And on that note, folks, always let us know what you think in that comment section below. But we will catch you in the next one. So stay cool, stay awesome, and we'll chat to you soon. Mm -hmm.